Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a another long video where I did where I will do unboxings as well as show off some custom models and also do some discussions on one video. I did one of these back in May of 2018 this year and so I felt like I wanted to do another one so I have a few items here that I've kept in the box when I recently got them in the mail and then I've got some a, a few custom models that I finished that I guess I'll show off and then I'll discuss a couple of adventures items so anyways these things that you're looking at we've got the new big world big adventure track masters as well as this so this is the great attract risers um just a second let me check the box and it says 1996 right there so yeah i was just buying some different things on ebay and so i thought i would just buy this when i found a listing that was good enough on e of a price and it was new in the box i just wanted to make sure I maybe got one that was in the box so I could get like all the different pieces, the right number of pieces that I was supposed to get. So it says on the back that there are 24 of these. And basically on the sticker here, like I think it came from a store called Kids Quest. And it used to be $12.99 there at that store. I did technically open the box just to see what it looked like in there. I didn't take anything out. So I'm going to open this first. Unbox this first. So basically, we've got some cardboard in there to keep everything in there. So I'm going to lay this down and pull this out. And really, there's not going to be any fancy, like, unboxing, like, taking different things out it's just okay so yeah it's all wrapped in like some paper and we've got a pamphlet here I'm just gonna see here the pamphlet says 2001 actually just a second I'm gonna unfold it and look at it Yeah, it's all 2001, actually, even though the box said 1996. That's interesting. But anyway, so, we've got some tape right here. Here we go. Yeah, there is stacked on. There's, like, two stacks. Well, just two levels in, of these in the box so we've got one stack one stack right here and then another stack below it just trying to get it out so let me move this off to the side so basically these are small pieces that if you stack a few of them they can make the same height of a normal track riser, ascending track riser, but if you want to like make a small slope that gets higher and higher, you can like start off with one of these, take another, go up to two, then three, then four. Or you could try to go up a little higher than just one at a time. But yeah, you can like create a, you could you can gradually increase the height of the track with these greater track risers. Or if you don't want to like try to create a small slope, you could just stack them up. And I don't know how many of these make the size of a normal track riser. Um, I would guess maybe six because there's 24 of these so I guess maybe six would make the height of a normal ricer and you could have four of these make one big ricer just a second 
I'm gonna grab one and see. Sorry for that little wait. So I've got one of these normal ricers, and yep, about six of these makes the height of a normal ascending track ricer. So then if you want and to have like 12 of these, then you can have the height of two of these normal ricers. And these ricers can go on top of these as well. Okay, so yeah, th that's those graded track risers. I'll just move the trash over here and then I'll just move these back here. So now on to the track masters. So this was the first one I received. I got this one from eBay and the other two I picked off of Amazon later when I found them at good prices. So Thompson Ace the Racer. So yeah, Thomas looks like he's been racing through a jungle like he's gotten maybe gone into a crash or something because he's just a bit dirty. There's a snake in the car there from the jungle. And then we've got Ace the race car on this flatbed here. So um, there's some tape on the side here, but I'm just going to try to tear it open rather than try to get some scissors and just cut through the tape. Yeah, I just don't want to like keep you guys waiting for too long like I did to get that ricer. I bumped the risers over here and just kind of made a little mess. My mistake. Okay, let me just try to peel the tape off now. There we go. like instructions here nothing really new I remember back when Trackmaster was first getting started like these instructions I think I think maybe the instructions were had like list of all the different types of engines that were in the range like big ones and small ones and all that yeah I miss those days but anyways here's Thomas so this face has, I know for a fact that this face has been reused from a couple other Trackmaster sets. Like I know one, even though I don't have this one, is the Twisting Tornado set. I've just seen some other videos about that and know that this looks like the same face. I know there's a couple other sets, but I don't want to like try to remember them all. So Thomas's wheels are brown, like he's been running through mud. And I mean, I'm not going to try to spoil details for anyone who hasn't like seen a link to Big World Big Adventures yet. But there is kind of like technically a scene where Thomas is trying to get through mud or something. But anyways, if you look right there, we've got a snake right there in all the leaves and stuff. So that's kind of a neat addition to the details on there. So just adding a snake right there. Yeah, we've got mud and leaves and all that and vines. We've even got some details here by his cab windows. That's cool. And then we've got like some a frock on 
this big leaf that's on his cap, that's on the top of his cap. That's kind of interesting. But it's the same details on the on this other side here. So now here's the snake here. Nothing to really say about it. And this car is orange and it's got brown wheels too. Like it's been traveling through mud. Then here's Ace's flatbed and he's got some holes in the bottom to like place on here so he won't like slide or roll off the flatbed as it's going along. And the flatbed's wheels are brown too. And some of these wheels on these track mass items like starting from Journey Beyond Sodor like they've been changing the the look of the wheel like it's kind of like how the main driving wheel of a trackmaster engine has these on them and that's kind of like what it's looking like for some of the wheels on these rolling stock cars so that's interesting so anyways ace is just a free rolling car like he's not like a pull back and he'll zoom along I was kind of just honestly wondering that for a while. He's just a free push along car. So um, here's his face right here. He's kind of looks a bit muddy on the side. He's number 43. Yeah, he's got some kind of like symbol right there. This thing right here kind of looks like some kind of rainforest tree or something right there but there's not one on this side and he's got a, a spare tire tied to his roof in case he gets a flat one and yeah that's the Thomas and Ace the Racer Trackmaster pack okay next I think I'll do Yong Bao and I went and grabbed some scissors real quickly so it can just be easy to open the boxes now so yeah, yep, there we go, that was much easier. I just didn't want to like grab the scissors while I was still filming on the first one. So I'll just put the trash and the instructions off to the side here as well as this plastic thing. So I'll just uncouple this car. And so, here's Yong Bao. Um, you can see like the details of his dragon's face, although they're not colored, they're just as red as the front. Here, like none are different colors. So yeah, that was just a little lacy. It could have looked a little better if there was some like colors on the dragon face. Anyway, here's like his cow catcher. And then, got like kind of a lot of stripes and some of them seem a little close to each other and all that so there's the top of his boiler so there's his Chinese symbols and there's the tiger on his tender so yeah and then here is like the cable car. So um just wondering how I'm gonna get this thing started. So basically you can extend the cable and then pull it back in, and I guess you just stick it in there when you're not using it. So I'm gonna have to try to loosen the string a little, this cable a little, so I can take this out. I can just figure out which way to move it. could be a little tough and you can like twist this thing around as well there we go so let me test this so um the hook can get attached to the couplings of engines 
so yeah so that's how long you can extend the cable and then you can twist it back like this but if you've got like big hands with big fingers then using this tiny knob could be a little bit tough for an older person or something but whatever so that's Yong Bao, and now we're finally going to move on to Nia. Take the scissors and just got to try to get them in a little bit of a space so they can just go behind the tape there. There we go. Okay, so here's Nia. So I would just think that if it came to making a wooden really custom of Nia, I don't know if I could do one by myself. I mean, it's basically with these details right here that I feel like could be the hardest thing to do. So yeah, I don't know if I could possibly get those accomplished myself. But anyways... Here's Nia's face, and then she's got this, I think this is a cylinder or something, but she's got these things on here. I think those are like the cylinders, I don't know what this part is. Exactly. But she's got some like green on this thing, I don't know what that thing's called. She's number 18, and there's her name right there. She's got like green stripes, and here's her coal bunker. So, yeah. Now let's move on to this plain old green car, which has some removable hay cargo. And here's a little slate truck that's carrying an elephant. The elephant, like Ace, has some holes in its feet to stick it in there so it can stay still. It looks like the elephant's head can turn from side to side. Although you wouldn't want it to be like complete like that because that'd be bad for its neck. For sure. So yeah. I mean I guess if you wanted to like have if you wanted to do an a remake of Henry and the Elephant, then this may be a good way to get an elephant toy or something if you don't know where to like get a different kind of elephant toy for that remake. You could be using an actual elephant Thomas toy for that remake if you want to do like a Trackmaster version. That's just like a thought or suggestion. There we go. And that's all the items I have to unbox. So I unboxed the Trackmaster Nia, Yong Bao, and Thomas and Ace. And when I use Ace for my videos, I'll probably be using the Trackmaster version here. Because I don't know if I want to get his wood version. Because, I mean, it's not accurate to the way he looks at all in the TV series. Of course. I mean, I don't know what to think of the Avengers version yet. Because I just haven't seen that in stores yet. And so I just don't know if I want to, like, what... I don't like the size difference with that. I assume it will be smaller than this Ace right here. But for now, I'm just going to try to use the Trackmaster Ace for videos. And I'll just see what happens when the Avenger version comes out and see how small that is compared to this one. And what it can do and all that. But yeah, so I unboxed these three Trackmasters and those graded track risers. So yeah. That's all the unboxing for this video, for this video. So now let's take a look at some custom models. So I got some like trains to show, but let me show you these things first. So these are faces that came from the website Shapeways. So this face right here was, it's a sad smudger face. 
based on when he was a generator in the episode Grand Puff. So yeah, this was made by the YouTuber Duck and Duncan. He has a Shapeway store and this came from it. So yeah, smudge your sad face. So I know like two different models I can use this on. So yeah, although I'm not gonna like give any details about any of either of them for right now. So now these other faces are troublesome truck faces, and they come from a different seller on Shapeways. I believe his seller name is the Faces of Trouble. So anyway, so this is a medium sized face. They have like large, medium, and small faces, and the small faces are like rectangular shaped. And I think the medium sized faces are the square ones, and then large ones are bigger square ones. And I've seen some pictures of these larger ones on Twitter, like specifically with Enterprising Engine 93. Like the large ones are like really big. Like the best kind of cars you would want to fit them, put them on because they'll fit are like scrap cars or like coal cars or like um, some of some certain box cars like a den in disguise or one of those size of a box car but yeah those face those larger faces are really big and they can just fit on the back of like a coal car or a scrap car model but anyways this is a medium sized face and it's kind of like a smuck face or something I don't remember the exact name so yeah they're not painted on the back but I painted them all so yeah so he's got like low eyebrows and yeah that's really all I can say so yeah these shapeway faces are pretty neat because they're like got the details here like the basically like the line here that goes around the smile and yeah it's just they're just really neat and I hope to get some more of these so anyway, here's a small surprised face. They kind of look a little weird with the way I'm honing them, like maybe with the light shining or something. I don't know, but it could like look like some parts weren't painted, but I did paint over all of them. So yeah, this is a classic surprised face. One of the surprised faces, like this. It's like the 3D like bits of the cheeks here like I guess these are part of the cheeks and yeah it's just very neat here's like a, another smug face that's from like the newer style series before the CGI switch over so yeah so that's that one and the last one is this face right here it's got like some small eyebrows and they're really close to the corners there but it's got like another classic shocked face or surprised or whatever. So yeah, I've been trying to figure out what kind of trucks I could put these on. I'll figure it out sooner or later. And like I said, I know like a couple of different models I could put the this face on. So anyways, those are the Shapeway faces of Smutcher and some trucks. So let me show you some actual custom trains so I'll show you this one first so like these first three are gonna be trucks basically this truck right here is a CGI giggling troublesome truck as you may know so you may remember that in June I made an update video showing some new items I bought from a store near my haircut place called Kids Closet and two of those new items were like a CGI giggling troublesome truck and a CGI rocking side to side troublesome truck basically just a CGI giggling troublesome trucks pack so anyways the only thing I did to make this one different than the one I already have I just painted the tarp white so yeah, I mean, tarps are usually white on the trucks in Thomas and Friends. 
Like, I don't think we'll really see red tarps on them. Like, I don't remember ever seeing red tarps. I was kind of debating on if I wanted to, like, paint the body a different color. Because just a white tarp being the only change kind of doesn't make it exact a really great custom. But I didn't really think feel like trying to paint on this. Especially since it's plastic and not like wood or something but anyways um in terms of giving this truck a name like when i was making this truck and then i was going to make another truck over there i was thinking like i would want to give this truck the name paul like i'll explain something about that name in a second but i don't know if i'll name this truck paul quite yet or what but his name is possibly going to be Paul, or he could just be an unnamed truck for all you know. So anyways, let me take this truck over here. So this was the CGI ballast truck from Kids Closet. And the reason why I decided to paint this was because it had some scratches. Some like nasty scratches on the side next to his face and like on the back here. So I just knew I just wanted to paint it a different color and... I decided to like paint this one too so I wouldn't have two trucks that have the same that look the same because I know what the one I already have is named Wallace and I just didn't want to have like another truck that looked just like Wallace so that's why I painted the tarp particularly so anyways you may notice this is not the face that comes with that truck and I'll explain that in a second so but anyways I painted it orange with white lines and I was wondering if I wanted to like change the color of the cargo like make it black for coal but I already have like a rocking side to side old style troublesome truck that has that's red with black lining and has black coal and so I was wondering if I wanted to like maybe paint it blue and make it like blue mountain quarry stones but I decided to just leave it the way it was. Yeah, the white lining, I guess, looks nice on this orange paint. And this truck has a name, and it's Simon. So, real quickly, before I talk about the face. So, if I was going to name this truck Paul, I don't know if I would still do that. But, basically, these two trucks are going to, like, be a pair. And, basically, their name's, like, Paul and Simon. And it's just kind of, I just figured that would be a reference to this actor named Paul Simon. So yeah, I just thought I'd name them like that. So like, Paul is like the first one of this pair and Simon's the second one. And that's just a reference to Paul Simon, the actor. So yeah. So anyways, the face here. So this face came comes from a Blue Mountain Quarry troublesome truck from the Demolition Team 2 pack. So basically... When I, after I came back from a vacation in May, and like early June I think, when I got back, I tried to take, I decided to take the face off of a, one of my Blue Mountain Quarry trucks and trucks, and I did, but then I decided to just put it back on and not try to stick it on anything else, and, but when... I was making this model, I didn't want it to like have the same surprise or shocked expression, so I decided to swap the faces. So I cut this face off of this model before I painted started painting it. And I took the model I had already cut off of this one previously and stuck it on this one. So this truck actually looks happy. So now this truck, so um, all that's changed is that he has a shocked, shocked expression now. No new color to detail or anything. He doesn't have a name yet. Although I was thinking, I was thinking that if this truck appeared, he would maybe be like his own, be the leader of his own group of trucks. This could possibly still happen, but I'm just not sure yet. I'm still trying to debate it. But basically, he's the leader. And while he is smart as a leader, he's also like pretty clumsy. So he is smart as a leader, but he's clumsy. So he just has to rely on his like friends and members of his group to like 
do the stuff he needs to have done since he could be clumsy and possibly mess things up. So yeah, that's this truck right here. I mean, I figured I'd just make it this truck, be this smart but clumsy truck, just based on his face, basically. So, yeah, that's all the details I really give about those trucks right there. And now on to this only engine custom. I had some more customs that I'm still trying to get finished. But this is the only one like that's officially finished. I mean, I've been doing a repaint of my Mallard custom. But I just need to touch up some paint. So it I just figured I wouldn't show that right now. So this is the only like completed custom. So you may be wondering who is this engine? It looks like Murdoch, but it's a different color. So this engine is called Evening Star, and Evening Star is Murdoch's brother. Even though he's not in the actual show, this is just he's just a brother of Murdoch's basis. And Evening Star was the last steam engine built for British Railways. So here Murdoch's bases were the last type of steam engine bases ever built. For British Railways. So I learned about this Evening Star engine from Thomas Wooden Episodes on Twitter. So he had started making customs. One was Mallard and the other was Evening Star. So I was wondering for the longest time if I wanted to make a custom. I just knew I would have to find another Murdoch model. And when I ended up finding a bag of some rare trains in my local flea market back in March of this year. And one of them was Murdoch. I decided now could be my chance to make a custom of Evening Star. So my custom doesn't exactly have some details like Thomas Wynn episodes. I can't remember... From the pictures I was looking at, if this custom had windows, I mean, I would probably have to add windows a little bit later. But there was like some gray on this, on the top of this part from what I could see on the picture. And he had like a name plate on the side here, like it said Evening Star. And the tender here had the British Railway logo and like said British Railways, like just added detail. Not like from painting, but just like some stickers not stickers but just taking stuff from the internet and just cutting it out when you print it or something this tenor doesn't have details i'm just i'm trying to debate on if i want to add some of these details like evening star's name or the british railway thing right here i mean it'd be nice if i could do that so it looks a little more detailed but, I don't know, I'll have to figure it out. So, Evening Star's wheels are black. This tender just says Murdoch's tender. But, on this model, I actually added Evening Star's name. I put star right here, since it's a small word, and it would fit on there. But then, Evening, I had to put on this longer part of the chassis. On the chassis. So, he's got a black running board, and then some red stripes here. And, I basically just tried to make them... Look like they did in on Thomas Wynn and Episodes custom. Not to be confused with Thomas Wynn and Railway. I mean Thomas Wynn and Episodes. Anyway, so this part of Murdoch here above the magnet was orange. So I had to paint black over it. Of course, I painted black over this to cover Murdoch's name. And I made a red buffer beam and put buffers on. Even though Thomas Wynn Episodes doesn't have buffers added on his model and I painted black around the orange magnet rim and I redid the eyebrows because they were just kind of getting worn a little and overall I think this custom is alright it could maybe be better if I add some extra details like the nameplate and the and the British Railways stuff on the tender but I don't know if I'll do that yet, so we'll just play it all by ear, I guess. So those are the only customs that I have to show right now. So these faces, these trucks, and Evening Star, who is the last steam engine built for British Railways. So now let's move on to the final part, which is the discussion. So I've got three different things I want to discuss. They're all Avengers items, so... 
We're basically going to be discussing the LBSC Original Thomas, Hong Mei, and Avengers Nia. This regular Thomas Avengers model is just here to like reference on the LBSC Thomas. So let's start off with Nia first. So, this Nia doesn't have black buffers unlike her Trackmaster model over here. So yeah. And then her cylinder here on the corner of her on the corner of her is orange instead of black. So yeah, that's just another that's just another piece of evidence that Mattel is lazy to add color to certain things. The coal here is different than it is on her Trackmaster model. Well, I mean, it's technically the same, but it just looks a little different with the way the control switch is poking into the coal bunker a little bit. So if it wasn't like poking in like that, the coal would technically actually be the same kind of way or something. So there's like the details on there. What I like here is that she's got these extra like set of wheels at the front and back because Nia has like 10 wheels. But I mean you couldn't like be able to like have 10 moving, 5 moving pairs of wheels on this model. It would just be kind of awkward and not be like easy to move around corners. So yeah they still added them on the front and back. Could they not have done the same for Hurricane? Since Hurricane has 10 wheels, yeah. And they could have like made these orange too. I mean if you're kind of like a, perf a little piggy or just want to have a perfect model with perfect detail, then you could try to paint these, we these wheels orange. Or you just maybe like to hope that you have a good shade of orange that can kind of match the color of Nia's paint and wheels. But anyways... Yeah, that's really it for Avengers Nia. So I'll put these back. So here's Hong Mei. So this is the only piece of merchandise that's available for Hong Mei. So Hong Mei is a character that's coming in Season 22. She wasn't in the movie Big World Big Adventures. So Hong Mei's face looks a little bit calm, but basically Hong Mei's personality is that she likes racing and she wants to prove like she's the number one blue engine. So we've got like a little bit of Chinese symbols here. Like I don't know what those mean though. And anyways, she's got a lamp. And she almost just kind of looks like Rosie, but she's a different basis and class than Rosie is. So there's her coal bunker there. She's got red wheels. And so yeah, like I said, the face looks calm, but I would figure or prefer if she could have like a sh smile where her mouth is open a little with her teeth showing. Just to show like she's she's excited like hey let's have a race I'm ready to race and all that so yeah she could kind of have like a bit of a like Tom's smile doesn't exactly show his teeth or anything I don't think it's not doing a good enough job on that but just have like a bit of an open mouth smile for Hong Mei maybe so anyways here's the LBSC Thomas now so there are some like differences from this model other than the color and some of the details so yeah. The color is green, got the 70 here and LBSC on the sides. So he's got white lining. But then the like the main difference in terms of details is that look at the stripes on top of the boiler. So there's just one pair here in front of the dome, between the dome and the funnel, and then one pair of stripes here between the dome and the front of the cap, like before the whistle. 
while on the blue Thomas they've got like six stripes here that aren't like separated in pairs and just a bit separated in awkward spots or whatever. So yeah, one, two, three, that kind of goes through the dome. Four, five, six. So that's kind of weird or something. I don't know what the deal is with those stripes. But oh well, that's just Mattel being Mattel. But anyways, those are the only items I was really going to discuss. So yeah, just though these three adventures items, this was just used for reference. So yeah, that's the discussions part of this long video. So yeah, that's really it. So I know this video is not really going to end up being as long as... My last one, where I did unboxing, custom models, and discussions. But, I still hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this. Because I showed some new items and I showed custom models specifically in this in this video. So if you want to see my custom models, you got to like try to watch this one, this video, to see them. But anyways, that's all for now, guys. And I'll see you a little bit later with my next video.